<laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here at 7th Brigade Park doing a practice round, getting ready for the battle at 7th Brigade coming up next weekend. Let's get to it. We got Sam joining us today. He's been on the channel before. He's playing in the MA2 division. Yep. We got myself in playing MA1 division. Hayden's here, the recent Pine Rivers Open champion, trying to win back-to-back -back MPO yeah. titles. We got Warwick, usually behind the camera, is going to be in front of the camera as well today. Hope you guys enjoy. It should be fun. So out here, uh, this course is a temporary course, and hopefully sometime this year to actually get nine permanent holes, which is very exciting. And I'm keen. We've, I've only seen the first two holes and maybe a few of the ones on the back, and it looks like a ton of fun. So it should be fun. Hole one, it is 143 meters, I believe, par four. So pretty short par four to start with. You've got a kind of low ceiling gap to deal with. And then a mando out sort of in the middle of the fairway that you've got to play to the left of. And then Bass kind of up a bit of a hill. So I think the play, I think if you end up left, and even if you don't have to go too far, we kind of get through the gap and to the left. I think that opens up the, the backhand hyzer through to the basket on the approach shot. But we'll see what these guys throw and hopefully put one in play. Okay. Oh, got very sneaky. That's way up there. Sweet. Was that a gap you were going for? <laughs> no, I was going for the right. <laughs> Worked well, though. Yeah. We, I don't want to end up right because I don't have a forehand for him. So gotcha. Left, left, left is fine. Yeah. Oh, that's clean. Oh, that's really nice. Glidey. Oh, guys, you're putting the pressure on. Great shot. <laughs> nice, Sam. What did you say there? Too far right, I think. A bit too far right. Okay. I think I'm going to try the Onyx. Let's try and push it straight, have it fade to the left. I didn't leave much room to run up, did I? I haven't thrown in like a week, I don't think, so this will be, this, this will be interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> Definitely throw another one. Bit straight, but... That's up there. That's, yeah. It's not bad, not bad. I was up on the hill. Land left and up again. <laughs> Let's try and get through that gap. Oh, so close. Oh. Almost it. So this is probably ideal positioning off Sam's second drive. Dead straight look at the basket. Eyes are out to the right side. Oh, oh. dang. Close. That was the that positioning is terrible job. Yeah, you can explain Take what Take everything out of play and just highs it around the back. I know that thick tree towards the back there is pin high. Yeah. So as long as, as long as I can swing inside of that, we're good. Perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah, easy. Bit deep. Bit deep, but oh, yeah. circle's edge. Putting back at it, nice. Here, I went very, it's a good drive, but very straight off the tee. And so now I've got this tree here and I've got the mendo tree there. So it really is probably like a, a bit of a chip forehand. Not much distance to cover, but a tricky, tricky shot. I zone and just get it up there. So many of those trees is not bad. Shot. Yeah, cool. That's probably almost been high, not bad. <laughs> so, got my little heart sport basket here. The uh, Downhill. bogey light, as they call it. <laughs> See if Hayden can jam a long one to start with. Oh boy, that's terrible. And that's that's not a, that's not a gimme on these baskets either. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we go. Nice part. Hey. Uh, hole number two, straight down here, fairly short, 88 meter par three. I think the play is probably going to be a putter that just fades into the left. Uh, there is also a mando left on a tree down there, but I feel like if you're going near the mando, you're probably not playing it right. Throwing. Ice prototype in a core. That is so nice. Right so cool. With a little bit of red dye on it. Let's go. Oh, gorgeous line. It's a great shot. Line was there, it's too high. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. You're throwing putter as well. I'm throwing envy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um a little bit lightweight. I think it's like one seventy, so yeah. Should just glide down. Oh boy. It's the tree. 
Oh yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's cutting. Yeah. Oh, Hayden going for the unconventional. That is not the play. Yeah, I'm gonna try flex it up there. It's gonna come back. It's very overstable. It's gonna okay. come back in a very like. I just hope it comes down enough. Mm. That could work. No, nah, got clipped. Oh, uh, too many okay. trees. Oh, uh, uh. Or the hyzer. Yeah. I mean, oh, geez. It needs to be like a flat one that's stable. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a flat putter yeah. at that gap and then, <laughs> and then just... 100%. Yeah, that's the shot. That's great. Money. Yeah, a little bit short, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think the line you threw with your first was perfect. It was coming down this Y tree. Yeah, and then just... Realising now it's a little further than I think. It is, yeah. I thought it was a bit closer too, but... So I, I guess I can power up a zone, which will hold straight at the start, and then finish at the end, which yeah, might be yeah. the play. Yeah. Oh, just to the right. You got the, you got the distance on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mine's good. <laughs> Playing hole three. Um, 90 meters, looks like 75 from the short tee. Um, it looks like just a either a simple turnover with something stable that doesn't want to get to the ground. Um, or you can forehand, try and do a flip up forehand. Really technical spot from here. The mm. short tee looks like a fun ace run, but this this is a hard turnover. Yeah, so let's like give it. it a go. Show us the way. I'm gonna go flip the envy. Nice. See, that's too understable. Yeah, I lost it. Yeah, Turned too much. Well right. Yeah, okay. well right. Yeah. So I need to do that with my stable envy. Stable like one. I said in the intro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on Anheuser and it should hold. Slowly drift out. Come out a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah, it's a little, little, little short, short little short. I, but I like that. That's yeah. Hot. Going the forehand, Sam. Yeah, I'm going the forehand just to experiment. Nice. Oh, and flip up, nice. Yeah, short right. I'm so bad at catching these ones. <laughs> Good angle going in high. I'm gonna try the buzz though. Trying to hit the oh, gap. Yeah. Let it coast. All right. Oh boy, that's that. That's the gap. <laughs> it's out in the open, I think. Woo! Let's right, try. Enough, let's try another one. Go meteor. Just throw it a bit flatter there. Yeah, that's the shot. It's a little short, and it's there. It's tricky, tricky. That's a shot, though. Wow, that's nice. Wow. <laughs> you got that? I think so. I might throw a forehand. <laughs> Sam's forehand over to the right. Can you sink it from deep? Oh, not quite. Yeah. Oh, man, he's done it again. <laughs> Close. So my Meteor, this is, this is my second shot, is, yeah, inside circle for a putt. And I thought that was, it was a little bit too flippy. It didn't stable out, but still got the distance easily. So that was nice. And yeah, hey. shots were great. Onyx forehand, absolutely parked. Hex backhand, absolutely parked. So I'm more comfortable with the forehand probably rather than the turnover, but you probably like the oh, turnover. Yeah. So both options, very viable. All right, we are on hole number four now. This is an awesome hole. For the pro layout, it is a par five. What is that? 236 meter dish. Um, and for a good example of this hole, um, there's three different tee pads on almost every hole. So you've got uh, the pro layout, which I think the MA2, MA1, MPO will play, and then you've got intermediate layout, which is maybe MA3, MA4, and an FA division, and then for a lot of the women's and juniors, you've got uh, a very sh shorter feed mode, which is really cool, uh, making it very inclusive, and this event is part of the women's global event as well, so I believe Way, the tournament director, and the amazing sponsors have made women's and juniors free entry, so absolutely incredible, we're keen to see lots of new players out here, and shout out to Way, the tournament director, um, he's Go on and market these tee pads a week and a half in advance and, and the baskets as well so we know what's happening. So really sweet, but 
Um, so yeah, massive shout out to him and thanks to all the work you've been doing. Um, I think Pro Purse is, is massive. Maybe you want a grand going to the winner. So very exciting. Um, this hole though for us, there's a Mando, you gotta go left dog. It's I think 58 minutes from Mando and then 9 coming to the back fence, which will be OB. And then you then kind of take a 90 degree right play down the fairway, which we're yet to see. So big forehands or big back ends off the tee, try and get up into that next fairway. Is it? Yeah, that's fine. Maybe a little left of what you're wanting, but yeah, probably like a that. little left, but it's up there. Yeah, should have a shot down there. Okay. Right. Oh, get up. It's more uphill than we think. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Uphill. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a danger. Potential miss Mando there. Oh, I did it again. No, that's it. That's good. Oh, you just want to pipe something up the middle and that's the shot. Nice shot. That's all you need, like, I think. A bit like hole six at ACP, yeah. where you do have the option of going up into the tunnel, or you mm, just mm. lay up early and then. Go. Come on. Dang, that might be okay. Yeah. I feel like he'll be alright there. Yeah. He's gonna go do it. And he's not hit anything. That's a nice Ooh. shot. Oh, a bit skip. Nice that shot. Okay. So, this almost was a great landing zone. Only just left of the Mando tree. Up there where Hayden is going now. If you're up right there, or is it like, how do I think from where you are? That's a pretty good, good spot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's probably the ideal spot or somewhere here. I, my forehand is not bad with it and just get the tree. So I think if you can push left a little bit, get up to the top side, that opens it up nicely. So let's see Hayden's second shot. Oh, yes. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Still fine though, right? Yeah, it should be alright. So basket's out there. Hayden has, that was an amazing, what, sec was that second shot? Yeah, second, second. shot. So this will be third. I'm 83 away. 83 away. And basically this is the spot to land, like on this kind of this little bit of a path is probably the ideal spot, maybe a little bit right, but this is probably where you're going to end up, is filtering to the left. Yeah. But I'm a little bit too far left, as you'll see, I'll throw my approach, but I'm a bit pinched off, so Hayden's kind of in a better spot here. It's still tricky to navigate. Yeah, I'm going to aim for the tree on the right and hope, hope, you hope miss it. I'm not good enough to hit it. <laughs> Didn't see where that went. Do you want to throw another one? Uh, yeah, I will go and Try and nail the approach. Float it up down the middle. Yeah, that's the that's shot. shot. That's nice. Good shot. Sweet. Lovely little, or oh, muddy actually, watch out work. Lovely little opening, like you play a tight tunnel all the way through and then out to this lovely opening which is very nice oh that way you don't have a combat giving yourself a, a puncher's chance of dropping it in <laughs> oh nice uh, i said have a plan for this hole definitely but uh be ready to change it quick on the fly because you could end up in a yeah you're not going to end up where you want to be you're just going to end up roughly where you want to be yeah Let's okay. go from there. Nice. Work. Nice little path I got here, hey? Yeah. Well, oh, actually, nice little uh, trip through our wilderness, our local <laughs> wildlife, checking out some new fungus that I've never seen before. Oh. <laughs> cool little, yeah, cool little path to walk through to get to a bit of a wolf from hole. What are we going now to hole five, I think? Dang. 
of five, 91 meters. Uh, dead straight, as you can see. Busk is on a little bit of a hill. Uh, OB is the, uh, the cricket pitch here, so safe play is a forehand, skip off the cricket pitch and end up wherever. I didn't have one of those. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go straight out with a hex. Yeah, hopefully not go with B. Sorry, baby hyzer, let it just flip to flat. Aiming at the tree on the right, if it turns over, I'm safe, safe. right and have a big putt. Uh, and at worst, it should just go straight. And also, you don't wanna be right because you're in a puddle. You want to be right, okay, so don't go right. It's very damn good. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty safe. Very safe. In the puddle. In the puddle. In the puddle. Cool. Nice shot. Yeah. Oh, that needs to get up. Cool. <laughs> that was really cool. Long though, right? <laughs> so, the, I'm, ass I'm assuming what's OB is the mowed grass. Yeah. And that's apparently edge of circle one, about 10 meters. So, you, edge of C1 is the, the mowed grass, I think. Okay. From the map at least. So, you've got about 10 meters of safety before you hit the pin. Okay. Oh, that's way right. Go, Warwick. Oh, good going. Oh, whoops. Close. <laughs> So we've got this beautiful little plant with little flowers on it. If you touch these leaves, see that oh. up. That's so cool. It's to protect from predators. Huh, well, there you go. So second drive, deeper the pin, just made it safe by the looks of it. And downhill putt at the basket, little bit. <laughs> Hayden's backhand here. Oh, just off. <laughs> Blame it on the basket. Oi. Yeah. <laughs> like a swimming, pool. swimming pool where Warwick is. He's saying he doesn't have a mic, but can you make a putt? Oh, man. This basket's just rejecting them. <laughs> so, yeah, safe play is just skip off. If you want to try and get close to the basket, you're going to maybe bring this OB into play, which is a bit risky. Hole number six? Yeah. Hole six. Pass three. Uh, Caddy book says 123, but that might be a bit of an S bendy flight. We've mm -hmm. ranged it at about 112, 113 in a dead straight line. I think the play is probably just something hard and flat and fading into the left because the basket's kind of hidden behind one of those big trees straight down there. Yeah. Fun, Hayden. Uh, throw on a new rive. So. Okay. Oh, dang. Oh, just low. Hey. Fairway. I'm going to run him. Oh. AGL Redwood. AGL Redwood. Love to see it. Oh, be, oh dang. There's that gap we just can't hit. <laughs> Oh, hey, he made it before, folks, I promise. Oh, lucky oh. guy. There we go. Do you reckon this will catch a spin putt? Maybe. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, we've had to say goodbye to Sam. We've lost Sam. 
he's had to go home. So just three of us now. We're on to hole number seven, 177 meter par four. Double Mando through those two trees in the middle. So if you can get something through there, add into the open clearing, you're looking pretty sweet. Um, that'll make for a pretty easy second shot. Um, miss a double Mando, you're gonna be par at best. <laughs> Just trying to beat in a rive, so I'll uh, aim at the tree if I hit it. Good. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's crushed. All right, perfect. That's awesome. Sweet. <laughs> Great shot. You guys know what it is. Nukes, baby. Always. No, not today. I will throw another one. <laughs> You guys know what it is? Nukes, baby. That's three. Yeah, nice. Good shot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's looking all right. Just short of it. Got murdered by that leaf. Sweet. So Hayden just put the basket out there. Honestly, it's further left than I thought it was going to be. So it actually probably makes it a little bit easier, less trees to navigate. So I'll throw from the drop zone. This is if you've missed the mando. There is also the option, if you don't want to risk going through the mandos, you can throw to in line with the drop zone. And it probably leaves you maybe a hundred bit over a hundred meters to the basket, which is still a doable shot. So I'm just going to throw force forehand out to the left and just hopefully get the distance there. Nice forehand. A little too soft. Not bad. Maybe a little short. Skip up. Little short. Yeah, not too bad. If this is an island, you didn't make it. Oh, great shot, Warwick. Keep turning, keep turning. It looks like an island. An island? There's a there's OB paint here. Oh, interesting. That's a better shot. Really good shot. Make it. Keep up in it. That one's safe. Okay, so we've got to throw the, the nuke there. It's a bit of a rip to get to the basket, actually. Yeah, it looks like there's a there's a river in the middle here. I can't see it on new disc, but it's about 15, 20 meters wide. Mm. And it goes inside circle. It might be hazard. Okay. Um, we'll have to look. Right. Up. Nope. Ignore that. That was oh. uneven and terrible. <laughs> Is that going to be safe? No, that's OB. That's so. There's like a circle around the. Yeah, basket. it literally goes like that on uh, the hill. Creating a bit of like a island. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Give it another go. That's probably good. Yeah. Probably good. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Bad filming, but good shot. <laughs> Thank you. So what we're standing in now is hazard by the look of it. So it's yellow on the map. Okay. Um, so not OB. So you can be. You can be a little safer with your shots and then try and run them. But um, yeah, hazard just outside circle two. So well, then, outside circle one, sorry. Oh, uh, okay. So you got to be almost basically in circle one to yeah to make so here you go. the island. Okay. So there's a little, little white line that goes around, which makes it, brings more decision making into play. It does. Because then you, if you're far back, you might lay up before then coming into the island for your third shot. So... I like to change, that's cool. Uh, hole eight. Uh, so it's straight is 111 meters. Gonna guess it's about 120-ish with the hyzer. So uh, you wanna throw with something with a little bit of flip to it. So it's flipping slowly down the hill. If you just hyzer the entire way, you'll end up left and short. So yeah. you don't wanna flip too much straight into the trees, but a baby hyzer will uh, get down there. Cool. And downhill too, so that'll It'll help yeah. the distance a bit. But. There is this tree right in front, so the tee pad's moved a bit since last year, so it, yeah, a little bit more in our heads. <laughs> Just a touch. Watch me smack it. That's a little inside, I think. Inside and left, okay. Inside and left, so I gotta trust the right side a little more. Yeah. Throw, get there with like a, a con more control driver. Yeah, I'm gonna go felon now. Yeah. Maybe Crave. I'll go Crave. Yeah. Okay. Really good shot. Hill. I'll throw one with the nuke and just try and throw it on that highs and then I'll throw a fairway driver. Oh, that just slipped out. That's, that's a mistake. That slipped out so You're okay, early. actually. You're going to be... 
according to the fence. Straight I just slipped fence. out of my hand. So I think everyone's going to tuck this inside. Yeah. That's better. That's a nice line. Flip up. It's still a little inside. Still, yeah. Oh, that could be... That's a B. Maybe, if it, if it kept on skipping. Okay. I almost feel better with an, an onyx and just trying to pump it. Oh, it's still inside. Wow. Okay. This is going to be a hard hole. I think what gave us the best shots there? Thank you. Um, Big, powerful, just hyzer. Pushing hyzer. Yeah, I've gotten deep left. Oh, yeah. Which is okay. That's putting. That's putting. Yeah. Edge of C1. Yeah. I threw a force. Here, just outside, circle one. So, tough hole to get. If you can get down here and give yourself a putt, you're doing pretty well. But the only risk here, you just don't want to go too straight back. and flip it into this Please side because then it could be hard to get out of and save par. Alrighty, hole nine, final hole of the front nine, par four. Any idea? 164. 164, nice. Initial gap to miss, if you can just punch out through there and get lots of distance, it should make the approach shot pretty easy. I'm not sure yet if there's a space you want to land, just get as far as you can and then navigate some sort of an you approach. You want to be right. Okay. More right, opens up the approach into the, the basket, sort of up in the corner of the, the park there. Flat through the gap, pretty much. Yeah, flat to Anheuser. Yeah. Um, this will stable out. I lost my flippy one, so. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. If it hits a tree. I'm not sad. Making <laughs> flippy. Yeah. So ideally, turn that over. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty cut off. I think pinched. there. Yeah. But um. Should be able yeah. to navigate something like you made the gap, which is the. That's the goal. The yeah. main thing to start off with. Yeah. Oh, oh geez, looking good, Warwick. Oh, it's out there. <laughs> That's the yep. shot. That's the ideal landing zone after That's your it. first yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> That's gap. Nice Where I want to be after three. <laughs> Technically, throwing from OB as well. Miss it. That's yeah, a not, shot. That's all right. Definitely trying to play more not left of that, but that's out there. That's going to play with some branches because I'm going to give it some height. Uh -huh. Where you are and potentially further right of that, it's dead straight by the look of it. You get more of it, so. yeah. It's less obstructed. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that like this hole especially and there's a few holes where distance is helpful but it's really about placement for where you want to get that second shot to go and get Hayden's putt in the background. Oh dang. Because <laughs> um, it potentially could play forehand off the tee or something that is flip flippier if you get through the gap and then it turns and you'll end up more in the open and then you've got a bit more of a, an open approach whereas playing through the gap behind me there's a lot more trees to navigate so I think if you can Get out to the right off the tee, something that turns, or maybe, maybe a forehand if you've got a power forehand, then that could potentially be a play. Oh, I got the nasty spit out. Nice shot there from Warwick on his second one. And my approach is parked, that was pretty cool. Third time's a charm. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for the front nine. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it was helpful. Please leave your comments down below, suggestions, feedback for the future. Um, yeah, hopefully that was helpful and hopefully we'll see lots of you out there at the tournament. Um, but stay tuned for the back nine. That will be coming out very shortly. Uh, but thanks to Hayden for coming out. Thanks to Sam. Rest in peace, brother. <laughs> and obviously Warwick as well out here. It's been good fun. We're going to hit the back nine now. Uh, we might lose another soldier uh, soon, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you've had a wonderful day. Make sure you make it great for somebody else too, and we will catch you there. Let's go catch you in the next one.